You get out of your room and look around. Where is Mr. Jun? Ask yourself and continue looking around. When you were sure he wasn't in the living room, you carefully walk so as not to make any noise and went down to the living room. You hide every corner so that your strict bodyguard won't see you. You are planning to escape from him to see your friends waiting for you in the bar. You took your car key, however you realize that you will make noise if you ever bring your sports car, so you just decided to take a taxi. You return the key to its case and slowly walk going to the door. Okay, maybe that guy already asleep. You said that since it was already 10 at night. You continue walking until finally reach the gate. You felt a great pleasure at the thought of you would be being able to escape. You look around and open the gate and about to get out, but your forehead collided with a solid subject. Ouch! You look up as you flinch and the realization hits you that what you bump into was not an object. Instead, it was Jungkook's chest, your strict bodyguard standing right outside the gate. Where are you going? Asked him while filed his robes. Uh, uh, nothing, Mr. Jun. I just want to breathe fresh air. Ah, fresh air. Then, you can do that without wearing heels, makeup, and sexy dress. I know, but I can appreciate the fresh air more if I'm wearing this. How about you, Mr. Jun? Are you here to breathe fresh air too? What do you think of me, stupid? Go back to your room. I know you're going to escape again. You get mad and your patience with him is running out because he is so strict with you and you can no longer to do what you want since he became your bodyguard two weeks ago. In your anger, you push him and run down the road. Yeah, come back here, he demanded. But you don't care as you continue to run to escape even though you know it's impossible to escape from him. You continued running until you felt that someone lifted you and placed you in his shoulder. You can't escape from me, miss. Mr. June, can you let me do whatever I want, even just tonight, please? Sorry. I'm just following your parents' order, he said, and bring you back inside the mansion. You beg for him, but unfortunately, as usual, he didn't seem to hear you. When you get to the living room, he put you down on the sofa. I really hate you. You are no different from my parents. You said was giving him a death glare and run going upstairs. You are Kong YN, the only child of an influential business couple. You can do everything and buy what you want. However, you are lack of love and attention of your parents. Because business is more important to them than you. You grow up with your nannies and maids, even on important days like birthday, Christmas, and graduation. Yes, you are pretty rich, but you're not happy. For you, 
you don't need material things. What you need is their time and attention. During graduation, you realize that you are really not important to them since they didn't come. Since then, you became a troublemaker and often involved in trouble. At first, you thought you were doing this to rebel against your parents. Basically, they don't care for you. But every time you are involved in trouble, they have time to scold for ruining their reputation. It's funny to think that their reputation is more important than you. But still for you, you became happy because finally, they have time for you. Two weeks ago, you passed your bar exam. So you asked them to celebrate, even just a simple dinner. They promised to come home since your parents were abroad for a business trip. But they didn't come. Out of your anger, your train can crash your car into a car parking outside the bar. And because of that, they hired a bodyguard to watch your every move and to discipline you. You entered your room until your phone rang. Where are you? Your friend named Kate asked. That guy really getting into my nerves. I don't know how you knew that I was planning to run away. You said that because every time you escape, he found you right away as simple as that. Or what if you beg to leave even just now? I've done that, but it's useless. That guy is a heartless man. But I thought of an idea. If I can't please him, I seduce him. Then good luck. You took off your heels and let your hair down. After that, you went back to the living room as you saw Jungkook sitting on the bar while having a drink. I can do this. As you sat next to him. He looks at you and say, What? Nothing, Mr. Jun. Why are you so strict to me? As I've said before, I'm just following your parents' order. You place your hand on his shoulder and say, But it's okay, because my ideal man is like you. Cold, strict, and hard to get guy. You know what, Mr. Jun? I think I'm in love with you. You said and stare at him. He must well. You two having an eye contact as you bite your lips. So looks seductive. Okay, I think he fell into my trap. You came closer and slowly brought your face closer to him. While closing your eyes, you also pout your lips because you're planning to kiss him. When suddenly, you flick on your forehead that makes you open your eyes. I won't fall into your trap, miss. Aish! In embarrassment, you stood up and took a bottle of whiskey and went to the pool area. You drank straight the liquor from the bottle out of annoyance, while Junko just watched over you from the bar. After one hour, Junko came and tried to take the bottle of whiskey from you. Miss, that's enough. It looks like you're drunk. But you snatched the bottle and drank the remaining whiskey from it. Who cares? You are all the same. I just want to enjoy. Junko carried you and about to bring you into your room. But he was a stand when you leaned your head on his chest while saying, Mr. Jun, can you wish me a happy birthday before my birthday ends? What? Is it your birthday today? Mm. But again, I'm celebrating my birthday alone. 
without my parents because business pa for me it's more important to them at that time Jungkook realized a lot and little by little he understood you you became like that because you're seeking of love and attention he put you down and said happy birthday sorry I didn't know it's okay you still have one hour before your birthday ends where do you want to go will you allow me to leave I will let you do anything you want but I need to come with you so I can make sure you are safe there's no problem with that then let's go to my friends It was fun that whole night. Even though you weren't with your parents, you were with your friends. Jungkook just sitting on the corner. But one thing you notice, he doesn't take his eyes off you. Like, he's thinking deeply. It was around 3 a.m. when your friends decided to go home. My friend, happy birthday again, Kate said and kiss you before she left. Your other friends did the same. After they left, Jungi came to you. So, where do you want to go? But my birthday already ended, Mr. Jun. So? Then, can we go to the beach? At this hour? Mm. I want to watch the sunrise. Then let's go. It was still quite dark when you arrived at the beach. You sat on the sand while facing the beach until you saw Jungkook removing his jacket and asked you to put it on since it was cold. Mr. Jun, thank you. For what? For allowing me to do this and at the bar. Sorry, I had no idea it was your birthday. I wish I had known earlier so you could be with your friends for a long time. You smile and look at him. I never knew you were kind. I thought you were a strict and heartless person. Wow, you are so harsh to me. But it's okay. I'm used to being cold like that. While well, waiting for the sunrise, he asked you about your family. And that's when you shared your recent mem towards your parents. And he really felt sorry for you. Can I ask something? Why did they hurt you as my bodyguard? Ever since I don't have bodyguard, then why all of a sudden? To discipline you? But it looks like the air one should learn proper discipline. As you two love. Don't worry. From now on, I won't be strict with you. Then finally, the sun gradually rises. At that time, you found peace in Jungkook's company. Without hesitation, you leaned your head on his shoulder as you watched the sunrise together. Since then, you and Jungkook have been close. You don't need to escape from him anymore because he allowed you to go out. He also often takes you everywhere because he knows deep inside you are sad. And because of the care and sincerity he showed, you couldn't stop yourself from falling for him. One month later, while watching movies in the living room, Jungo came up and sat next to you as he gave you an envelope. What is this? You want to come with me? Where? Vacation abroad? 
It was just a joke. So you opened the envelope and you were surprised because it contained a two tickets to Barcelona under your name and his. Seriously? Yes. We're leaving tomorrow morning. So you need to pack your things now. He held your hand and told you go into your room. Bring more clothes because you the whole entire evening. The next day. You wake up early because you are very excited. You often travel abroad, but this is the happiest travel you will do because you will be with the person who makes your heart beat. Wait. What if I confess my feelings to Junko when we arrive in Paris? After getting ready, you went down. Mr. Jun, I'm ready, you said, but you can't find him. Instead, you saw your parents in the living room. Mom, Dad, when did you come back from London? At dawn. By the way, YN, from now on, you can do whatever you want again without your bodyguard. Without Junko? What do you mean? He is not your bodyguard anymore. He resigned. What? Why? Why N? Junko is a mafia boss. His dad arranged him to someone, so he's getting married to his fiance. It was like your world fell apart when you heard that, and your tears started to flow. Finale. Tomorrow. Good night.